In this video, we'll be working a problem that requires the use of the sum and difference identities for cosine. If you've not already done so, press pause to copy these identities into your notes. When you're ready to continue, press play. The example that we'll be doing is find the exact value of the expression cosine of negative 75 degrees. Now because of this word exact value, that means that we need to use one of our special triangles. So I'm going to list those angles over here on the side. We have 30 degrees and 45 degrees and 60 degrees. So we're going to use these angles to rewrite this angle in terms of trig ratios that we can use our uh, reference triangles on. Uh, negative 75 is the same as a negative 30 plus a negative 45. So I'm going to write this as cosine of a negative 30 degrees plus a negative 45 degrees. So that means that we'll be using the cosine of a sum, and that's our first identity right here. And we can see that from this identity, if we want to find the cosine of a plus b, we'll take the cosine of a times the cosine of b, subtract the sine of a times the sine of b. So this problem then becomes the cosine of negative 30 times the cosine of negative 45. And since this is a plus right here, I need a minus, because notice these are opposites. This is plus, and this one's minus. So subtract the sine of negative 30 times the sine of negative 45. Now I'll draw my reference triangles over here to the side. We want a triangle for negative 30 degrees. will be down in quadrant 4. The side opposite the 30 is 1, but since that's below the x-axis, it will be a negative 1 that I'll use in my ratio. And then the hypotenuse is 2, and the side opposite the 60 will be a root 3. So that'll take care of these for the negative 30, and I need one for the negative 45. So it, too, is going to be in quadrant 4, 45 degree reference angle. And we use 1, 1, root 2 on the sides. And the one below the x-axis will be a negative. All right, so cosine of negative 30. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this ratio is root 3 over 2 times, and I want the cosine of negative 45. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over root 2. Subtract, and then the sine of negative 30. The sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so negative 1 over 2. times, and then the sine of negative 45 opposite over hypotenuse would be negative 1 over root 2. Okay, I'm going to rationalize these fractions that have a radical in the denominator.
So let's just copy root 3 over 2 times, and then this is root 2 over 2. Subtract, and I'm going to notice here also that a negative times a negative is a positive. So I have uh, those will go away, and I have 1 half times root 2 over 2. Right, now let's do the multiplication. So square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract. And then 1 root 2 over 2 times 2 is 4. So these fractions have a common denominator and I can put them into one fraction and my answer will be root 6 subtract root 2 all over 4.